This is for the Count Something project for ECS and Scratch. In this project, you're going to notice you have three scenarios you can choose from. The first one is you're going to create a program that counts inventory on the shelves. The second one is a ticket taking program uh, for a sporting event. And the third one is a lunchroom counting program. Now, feel free to choose any type of counting program that you'd want, uh, but if you are lost for ideas, choose something uh, from this list. And again, the idea behind this is you're going to create a program that counts something. Now we're going to head over to Scratch. I already have a food counter brought up. We at this point know how to bring in our uh, images. So I have four different images. I also have a backdrop uh, loaded in as well, a separate backdrop. And we're going to get straight to the coding for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our program when clicked we need to set up our own variable this time so i'm going to come to go here and i'm going to make a variable and i'm going to just type in cost and we're going to make it for all sprites not just for this sprite uh, if you're doing a game or something else you might want to uh, choose it to an individual one uh, but we're going to uh, set the cost to zero you're going to see our variable here is listed. Uh, and because I'm dealing with another backdrop, I'm going to switch my backdrop to the original backdrop, which is just this white background. Now, how am I going to operate on this variable? Well, when this sprite is clicked, so I need to go, why can't I find it? <laughs> Well, right there. When the sprite is clicked, I'm going to change my cost. And let's say this is the banana I'm on. Let's make a banana 50 cents. So now, when I click on the banana, it goes up by 50 cents. And I click on the green flag, it resets to zero. I'm going to do this for all of my foods. So I'm going to go. Uh, bring in my control structure when this sprite is clicked I'm going to set my variable to change And I'm going to change uh, Apple as being 75 cents We're going to go to our donut. We're going to do that same control structure of uh, When this is clicked I'm under the wrong one. When sprite is clicked, we're going to change this by, we'll say $2 for our donut. And lastly, we have our taco. And we're going to do that same idea that when this is clicked, we're going to change our variable by say two and a quarter. But now what you're gonna see is I hit the green flag, I reset as I hit my different uh, food items, they change that variable by that number. So this is a really good way that you can actually put together a calculator. Now there's a lot of different uh, ways that we can do math equations. Uh, we can get into uh, if statements that will allow different features in this to happen. So this is the basic premise behind this project. So feel free to design your own project, but watch the next video, which gets into some of the things that we can do with the math on this, uh, some more advanced things to really navigate this rather than just a simple counting program.